I'm Average Roy Burnett here in Perry Hall in Baltimore County where just about four hours ago an officer in Baltimore County was shot about 50 minutes after she was shot while responding to a call. Officials say she died. She was pronounced dead at a local hospital. Right now the impact is massive. Neighborhoods are blocked off. People who are in their homes are being told to shelter in place. There are some schools where kids are on alert so they're not allowed to go home. We just got an alert from officials with those schools that are impacted and they say the kids are being fed, but parents are not allowed to go pick them up. We have. My, my get away here. <laughs> Guys, this is the line outside Perry Hall Elementary School right now. You can see parents and gardens very eager to pick up their children after the school was on alert several hours following the death of the Baltimore County police officer. A manhunt still underway at this time for suspect or suspects responsible. I've talked to several parents out here who are just emotional after waiting all day to pick up their children. Many of them telling me they just didn't know, but they said the school system was keeping them well informed at every step of the way, so they're very thankful for that. She went down and uh, and it was right in front of my house and my sons were there my husband was there my one son my oldest son is um is a volunteer fire firefighter and he sat with her and stayed with her until um the police and the paramedics came on scene my husband and my other son were out there as well helping the police telling them everything they saw and everything that they knew and it's um they were they were really helpful in in today's situation and they were very calm and I'm and I'm really grateful that I can call them my family. Did recover the suspect vehicle uh, shortly after additional officers responding to the area in the 9500 block of Dawnvale Road. The Jeep was recovered. Uh, we're going to continue to see what exactly happened, uh, who was responsible for having this Jeep, if this Jeep was connected to any other crimes or where it came from. We're packing up right now. We've been live at this location for a little bit over an hour, but literally a few seconds ago, those two officers right there told us that we have to pack up and leave because the search down this in this area is coming to this direction and they want for us to get out of this area. The search area is expanding. They're saying canine units will be coming down and so they want for us to get out of the area so that we will not be in harm's way much like the people who are inside their homes and they're being told to shelter in place. So once we get our live shot back up when we move to the new location, we'll let you know. We'll keep you posted. This is the scene of the shooting and a very large, very active crime scene right now. What we heard is that police officer was shot in the head. We do not have any other information on that con the condition of that police officer at this point. This is in um, the uh, Perry Hall area of Baltimore County, so Baltimore County Police are heading this up. The, we did see a couple of state police cars here. Uh, there's probably about 30 police cars here and around this area. Now, this is uh, where the actual shooting happened, and a couple blocks away from here, we're not going to show it to you, is another scene that may turn into a standoff. It may actually be just that they're interested in a house because they have some information, but we're going to leave that one alone right now and kind of focus on this area where... Uh, uh, this is a situation that we're dealing with right now in the area um, of the shooting in Perry Hall. There's uh, quite a bit of traffic. Right now we're passing Perry Hall Middle School and I would say we are maybe about a mile from where we were earlier today. We were asked to leave um, because the search area was expanding. Right now we are on Ebenezer Drive near Yvonne Avenue we're passing that but as you can see there's quite a bit of traffic as people try to maneuver these road closures and we just got an alert on my phone that said uh, two lanes ahead of us are closed so as officials continue to search for a suspect or suspects um, in this sh this fatal shooting of a police officer this is what we are encountering in the area just a lot of road closures and a lot of traffic as a result of that.
We're still here in Perry Hall where it is still an active scene. Just about 90 minutes or so ago, the police captain or chief here in the county said this is an ongoing situation where they may be looking for multiple suspects who may be armed at this moment. We just don't know. But I want to show you what's going on down here. First of all, look over here. You see these people? They're walking out. They were able to go down to a daycare in the area, get their kids, and go home. But they're having to walk all the way down. We've seen at least a half dozen people who are having to do that but they're grateful that they're able to pick their children up another thing that i want to show you many of these cars down here majority of them even the ones that are unmarked these are police vehicles that are helping in this investigation the police chopper is still up we just saw officers who were walking by with long guns we are going into the sixth hour for this manhunt for the search for the person or persons who had a hand in the death of this police officer, a female veteran officer here. She was just weeks away from her four year anniversary with the department. It happened around 2 in the afternoon north of the Beltway and west of Bel Air Road in Perry Hall in this neighborhood of large single family homes. There was a call for a suspicious vehicle in this court that something happened and the officer was run over right here. This all happened in a home in this neighborhood in Perry Hall just off of Bel Air Road, Lindman Way. Linwin Way and it happened just about two o'clock yesterday afternoon when a Baltimore County police officer, a female officer, responded to this street for the report of a burglary in process in progress. When she got here, what we know now from the Curick family who lived right where this happened, they say one of their sons was out in front. They say she pulled up on the car, a Jeep. She told them to get out of the car and stopped. She exchanged, she fired at them. Then they say when the uh, Jeep was trying to get away, it ran her over. Then one of the Keurig's sons, who is a paramedic, came in outside from out uh, in the house outside, performed CPR, but then the police officer died. She is the first female police officer to die in the line of duty in Baltimore County Police history. The first police officer to die in the line of duty this year in the state of Maryland. Right now, the search is on for maybe one, maybe four suspects. They do believe they found the suspect vehicle, that Jeep that the Keurig son saw run over the police officer. They believe they have recovered that Jeep, but a search continues right now for the suspects in the murder of this Baltimore County female police officer.